Good afternoon or good evening from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well, sending lots of love to you, special love to you today. The sun's just gone back in. I was warm out here for a little bit, right? I was meant to come up yesterday. I put two links up on my community page about my bestie and my little brother, who you lot call Robert Milkins. I call him Bobby, right? For those that know and those that don't, he is a professional snooker player and he's going to be on to big things, right? He won the Welsh Open against Sean Murphy in an emotional, emotional final in recent times, but he is the people's champion. He's got a little bit of Jimmy White in him. Those that know this snooker a little bit, very charismatic. He's had some down and up time, like all of us, reminds about the journey I am, but seriously, seriously talented. Now, in them links yesterday, I'm going to put more stuff in a minute, right? A protester about the oil or, or some kind. You know, I'm not an expert in this kind of film. I might be one day, though, as time unfolds out here, where I get used to and get my eyes open and see what's happening in worldly matters, right? When I sat in the middle, during a session with Joe Perry, he sat in the middle of the table to protest, right? It interrupted that session. Um, but Bobby Milkins... Um, rang me after that session and he said to me, Uncle Yami, man, it disrupted me a little bit. He was 7-2 down, right? Dramatic news coming in now, right? That he won. He beat him in another emotional, um, contested snooker game, right? This geezer's proper mint, man. He will be coming on Uncle Yami BTV 100%. is my boy and he's likeable, very much like a few people that we know, right? So what do we think about protesters in general? Right, Peter Fury had a, 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 a link up um, recently where he discussed certain matters with the government and that kind of stuff. He was talking about um, monsters being, you know, employed in schools as just one subject, you know, with the prefer perverse way of the world and all that kind of stuff. But putting people in positions where they, you know, where they're not CRO'd, security check properly, where these things can kind of happen. Is it happening um, in all our places? Are the government, you know, at some kind of, um, you know, we'll just do it the way that we've always done it and whatever happens, you know, well, I don't know. You lot give me the answers to that kind of thing. I'm not going to delve into too much about things that I don't know about, but I'm willing to learn and never say never, like I always say to you. But anyway, um, Bobby Milkins, right, it is my boy. Right, he come through that game, right? I gave him that big uh, speech and he seemed to have taken it on board. The time can turn in those sporting events uh, many times over a lifetime. We've seen it. We've seen it in war all walks of life. We never write anybody off. We never look down on people when they got the downtime because they will remember you on the uptime. We always remember that. We keep that clinical on Uncle Yami BTV. You know that I'll always love my special, my special followers that have been there from day one with me, right? But Peter Fury, the godfather, right? Probably one of the most respected men of all time. Never say never to him coming on my show as well. I ain't allowed, I'm not, I haven't got permission yet to talk about certain stories, but, you know, um, contact will be made um, as soon as it does. I will let you know. But um, Peter Fury is probably one of the greatest of all time. You know, Uncle Yami's got other members of that Fury family um, that, you know, that he's in touch with in that kind of way. Not too personal, but you know that we respect them and that they love Uncle Yami like everybody seems to do, right? But Peter Fury... He, that supposed rant that he did the other day, but he, I watched it, I always watch him because he speaks from the heart, the Godfather, Peter Fury. Yeah, he does, right? I've, I've always watched him. You know I mean? I like Tyson. We know that, man. You know that I like Uncle John as well. That these things are not, um, these things are absolutely fact. We don't shy away from that. We don't get involved in the politics with other people, but they uh, hold, hold a special place in my heart down there in Manchester, right? If you look carefully... Look at during that protester when he jumps on the on the table, right? Look at um Bobby Milkins, right? On his arm, what he, what is he wearing? The combo shop dot com. Uncle Yami is an ambassador for those supplements, collagen, etc. etc. But he also is a well-known ambassador. He'll be coming on my show soon. Make no bones about that. But look at, what do we think about protesters in general? Give me a rough, like, thing about it. I remember I used to see the streakers come on the cricket field when I was a little boy, when I used to go, Lords, remember I told some of you, right? But in general, the causes, um, Uncle Yami starts to scratch his head and believe that 
Is it the rich university graduates or still at university that go on these protests a lot? Is it because the billionaire oil companies just want it to, you know, so they can keep them lapping up the money? Is it all just, you know, one way traffic with this kind of stuff? Some of you enlighten me on this thing. Trust me, because I'm starting to see a lot out here now. And some of it isn't really good. Um, but send special love to you. I might come with a bedtime story tonight. I'm getting picked up in a minute. I love you all dearly.